Hello everybody, it's me, Walter the German you all back with Console Conversations Season 4. Now we're back with a co-host, which is a new co-host that we've never had before except on the special, so we're continuing with this trend of having a new person who is on the special. Uh, and this is uh, Dogcorn Animations, or Mind of Drew, and he will be counting down his 10 favorite video game soundtracks, and I'll also be counting down my 10 favorite video game soundtracks of all time. So I will start us off with my number 10. And my 10th favorite video game soundtrack is the original Donkey Kong Country. And I really like this soundtrack because it has a lot of upbeat tunes, but it really mostly has a lot of ambient, very calm and serene tunes, and a lot of them just perfectly fit the level. You'll have a water level, and so the sound will seem a little more muffled and distant, like it's a speaker plunged into the water, or an ice level that just feels crisp and very clean. Every track just somehow magically fits with the theme of the level, and by itself, it's also a phenomenal uh, score uh, soundtrack, because like I said, there's a lot of ambience and very calm songs, but there are also many, many, many incredibly upbeat and exciting songs as well, and it's one of the best game soundtracks out there. If you can listen to it and not enjoy it, then I don't know what to tell you. And so then, with that being said, if you'll go ahead with your 10th favorite soundtrack, Dogcorn. Alright, so mine is Hades from, uh, hey, I don't, I forgot what it was called, but the full name, but I just call it Hades for short, so, and what I really like about it is how, also, like, how you said, sometimes the, the, the music fits the tone and setting. Hades will do that. Sometimes it's constant battle music, which, like a Dark Souls game, almost. Yeah. On a boss, yeah. Would so that's what I like about it is, you go on. Alright, so what I like about it, mainly, is how it fits the setting, also. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about that uh, game. Would you say that it's also with its gameplay and story is a really good game as well? Uh, I haven't completed the full thing, but arguably, in my opinion, I think it's pretty good so far. All right. Well, so then I'm going to go ahead with my number nine. And my number nine is Phoenix Wright. Now, Phoenix Wright is a series that I've barely played any of, but I adore it. I haven't even pl I've only played the first game, but I am so involved with the series in other ways. Like, I've looked at tons of videos on the internet about it. I listen to the soundtrack all the time. And I'm extremely excited for The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which will be releasing in July. And I think it's probably one of my favorite uh, v series in that vein. Uh, a, a slower game that doesn't really have... Ton uh, it's a very different game, but it has great music that really fits... Um, everything that's going on. So the music in this game really sticks out because of the power it holds. For example, if I'm in the courtroom in that game and I make a false guess, the music will continue playing as is. But if I get that eureka moment, which is the most satisfying part of the game, and I find out the mystery, I find out the right path to solve the story and solve the gameplay, the music will stop, stall, and then gradually come back. And it's very, very powerful and really immerses me in the uh, game. So I absolutely love it. And it also just uses the instruments it has very well and sounds very good by itself. 
and it's very iconic. So yeah, and then uh, if you'll go ahead with your number nine. All right, my number nine is Far Cry 5. And well, I, I mainly actually kind of like this game for the music and the story. More so music, though. Because the music, it it's like country sometimes because of the radio. And then, obviously, battle music when you get caught. So, and then, yeah. Basically, um, I like the music that they chose. Because it's some... It really, actually makes the setting seem more like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard um, uh, the co- the co-host, the main co-host that we had, uh, Hayden, he, he liked that game a lot, I believe, and I've heard a lot of people, other people talk about Far Cry 5, especially in the series, and the, everything about it, including the music. And I hear that uh, those kinds of games like that and Fallout often have really good music. Oh, yeah. uh, and so then I'm going to go ahead with my number eight, which is a game I've reviewed. And the ne- this game and the next one of mine are both games I reviewed. And this one is Sayonara Wild Hearts because this is kind of obvious. It's just extremely catchy. It's extremely lively. It's very interesting, and I really like that kind of music. That's that's all I have to say. Like, it, it fits the game well, obviously, and all that, because the whole game is built around music. But by itself, it's just like a phenomenal just set of songs, and I really like it for that. So, yeah. So you can go ahead with your um, your eighth favorite soundtrack. My favorite is, uh, well, my eighth favorite this is one of my favorite games also is Grand Theft Auto V. Because the games that you hear, like the music that you hear in the trailer is usually upbeat, like kind of pop almost. Like they had that one song, Let's Go All The Way from Sly Fox in one of their trailers. And that that's what I figured out. It was actually really good music. Because then I started listening to the radios more often when you're in the car and all that. And then you hear all the good music, and they have all the different stations, so there's a variety for everyone. So yeah, yeah it's it's a really interesting. So yeah, yeah. I have never played a Grand Theft Auto game, but I have played Saints Row Three, and that game is really enjoyable because when you get in the vehicles, you have like you said all the different stations, so. You can kind of pick, uh-huh. so like if you like classical music, there's a station for that. If you like metal music, there's a station for that. So uh, yeah, it has a great variety, especially fits the open world. And so I'm going to go ahead with my number seven. My number seven is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now this game already has a great soundtrack with really, you know, good superhero music. Some of the best superhero music out there for its standard tracks. But what sets it above... Above Sayonara, Wild Hearts, Phoenix, Wright, Donkey Kong Country, above Spider-Man PS4 are the lyrical songs. Where We Come From, This Is My Time, and I'm Ready, those are the three that really stick out. Those three are phenomenal, phenomenal songs. I literally listen to them almost every day. They're incredibly motivational. They fit great with the montages in the game that they play uh, in the background of. And they're overall just incredibly fun songs. Uh, Usually, like most uh, rap artists, I think, like, it's mostly what I've heard. It's kind of not my thing, but these are really good songs, and they've kind of made me like that genre a bit more, um, and, you know, they, these are just three phenomenal lyrical songs, and that combined with how well the superhero tracks are, the standard tracks are, it's just a sublime soundtrack that I really like. Um, so yeah, if you'll, um, if you want to go ahead with your, um, seventh favorite, uh, my seventh is Hyper Light Drifter, and 
like I've said throughout probably the past three, is that it sets for a good, it's like a good setting song because it has the soft tone music whenever you're walking around, doing whatever you have to do. And then battle music, obviously, when you have to battle, but mainly it's the soft setting tone of music that I really like about it because it's consistent, but yet it never changes, but yet the fact that it never changes makes it so good because that's what I like about it. Yeah. Yeah, I have, um, I've heard a lot about Hyperlight Drifter, but I've never played it or anything. Uh, although I do know the people who made it are making that Solar Ash game, and I think that looks interesting, so maybe I'll get uh -huh. a chance to play that, and then I can play Hyper Light Drifter eventually. Um, yeah, and then, so my number six is a game I don't think I've once, no, I've, I've talked about it one time on the channel back over a year ago when I did top ten Genesis games, and don't ever watch that video, that's so outdated and bad. <laughs> But, anyway, so at the end of it, I talk about how my favorite Genesis game at the time was Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic 3 Complete. And though I haven't played much of it, I have to say, the soundtrack for those games, specifically 3, oh my god. They're amazing. They are just some of the best 16-bit songs out there. And if you go on Spotify... There's a, uh, there's a, an album, I don't know what to call it, an album, basically, by Pero Dot Malino, uh, just called Sonic 3 and Knuckles, that remixes all of them. I believe, uh, Goodnight Productions created them, and they mm -hmm. are phenomenal remixes, so if you like, uh, you know, 16-bit music, video game music in general, these are some of the best tracks out there, and they are incredibly lively, and the remastered Hydro City one is just a masterpiece, and it's one of my favorite, uh, like, songs like that mm -hmm. out there. But yeah, and so then, if you'll go ahead with your number six. Alright, so my number six is definitely my favorite game of all time. Mm -hmm is Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. All right. And the thing about I don't know how to explain this well, but the thing is, it's just so good, all right? Because, like, the music is, like, Sonora. That's one of my favorite songs right now, and that's just the main... That's the... Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Startup song. And it's so good. And the thing is, everything about it just makes it good. So you have fast-paced songs, you have slow-paced songs, you have easy songs, you have metal, like, hard songs. It's just everything for everyone. It works out. And the yeah. game, let alone, is already perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard, uh, I have, uh, Hotline Miami 2, um, I haven't ever played a Hotline Miami game, although it is interesting, in one of my favorite games of all time, there's a character who plays a PS Vita, and if you use, like, the photo mode, you can see that they're actually playing that game. So that's interesting. Um, and so then yeah. my number five is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, this is not my favorite Zelda game. It's my third favorite, and I still really like it. But the music is, in my opinion, the best of the series. Breath of the Wild has some good tracks. But most of the time, it's just ambient piano to fit the open world. And it fits it well, but it's not really exciting. And while Age of Calamity has a, a just soaring, amazing score, I have to give it to Ocarina of Time. Gerudo Valley, Song of Storms. Mm -hmm. I mean, every th Hyrule Field, every song that people have been singing the praises of for all these years, is totally amazing, and it's an absolutely phenomenal score that, uh, that accompanies an absolutely phenomenal game, and it's just an uplifting and fantastic score, so yeah, and that's my number five, but if Drew, if you'll go ahead with your number five now. All right, my number five is uh, Doom Eternal. <laughs> Uh, most of the most of the songs are well from the first like Doom twenty six twenty 
26. Hold on for a second. All right, I'm back. And most of them are from Doom 2016. But the thing is, like, I don't know how, but they did it better than Doom 2016 because they added a bunch of, not a bunch, but a few new songs. And it's just heavy metal all the time. And it's just, well, they do have the kind of soft tone music when you're not fighting. But when you're fighting, it's the heavy metal, and that's what I love about it. And then when you're about to enter a boss fight, they always play, not always, but they do play, like, a boot-up song to boost you up and energize you and just fuels you to do better. It's just It just does something. Music with power, almost. Yeah. Yeah, I, played, I haven't played much of that game, but I gotta say the soundtrack is really good. Um, so then my number four is Streets of Rage 2 which is another game I reviewed, and this game, I mean, to let you know how much I love the soundtrack for this game, uh, it's the first song that plays in my outro, and it's just, I can't even describe it, Go Straight is totally iconic, one of the best, in my opinion, the single best 16-bit track Ever is go straight from Streets of Rage 2, and the rest of the soundtrack is upbeat, lively, very fun, very interesting. It takes the first one. The first one already had a great soundtrack, but this one is just absolutely amazing, and I absolutely love everything about Streets of Rage 2's soundtrack. So that's why it's all the way up at number four. And speaking of number four, if you would like to go ahead with your number four now, Drew... All right, so my number four is Cuphead, um, and I'm sure a lot of people know what Cuphead is. I don't need to explain it, but Cuphead's music soundtrack is one of those where, like, like Doom Eternal, it doesn't have words in it, but it's still so good. Mm-hmm. It's it's not like an all around song, but in my opinion, it's the kind of music I like where it's like fast paced, and it's just really good because they have. It's like one of those setting musics where as soon as you enter a new setting, it changes the music and makes you feel it's more interactive almost, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so then my, uh, I'm going to go ahead with my number three. So my third favorite video game soundtrack ever is Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this is my number one Mario soundtrack, and the Galaxy kills it. 3D World, 3D Land kill it and you know 2d marios also have some really good ones it's it just has to go to odyssey because of one song now every song in the game that's you know a normal video game song is just amazing especially fossil falls that is probably one of the best songs out there for for games and i just love the soundtrack overall but jump up superstar is just amazing. The montage through New Donk City with it in that game, oh my god, it's really what just made that one of my favorite games ever, and it's a totally fantastic song, very lively, very fun, and that just describes the whole game and the whole soundtrack, very fun, very enjoyable to listen to. And so then if you'd like to go ahead with your number three now, all right, my number three. Uh, it's one of those well-known games. It's Friday Night Funkin'. It got popular like a few months ago. And the soundtrack about it, it's not like... Well, it's a rhythm game, so it's obviously going to have to have music in it. So the thing is about the music is that they never try and do everything the same Ninja Muffin. He always does something different about the, the music. And that's what I love about it. Because like in the most recent week... He added a bunch of uh, new features to the the, the, the the Friday Night Funk franchise, which was really nice because yeah. it gave us like a fresh look at it. And plus, the music just in general is just something you can jam out to while you're playing. It's just everything about it makes it really good as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed the soundtrack for that game. 
Um, so, but then my number two, my second favorite game soundtrack ever, is from my favorite game ever, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro the Dragon is just, it's, it's a sublime soundtrack. It was done by Stuart Copeland. One guy, one guy did this. He's a mad lad. He did it all with percussion, and it's such a unique soundtrack because of that. It's all focused on the drums, and it's just phenomenal how crazy he got with it. And while Ripto's Rage has a really good soundtrack too, and it might be better to most people, I don't know. There's something about that first game that just elevates it for me. I'm say I would say that the second one is probably overall better. I'm probably going to admit that. But, you know, with the games themselves, I mostly it's personal bias that makes me say I like the first one more than the second. But I also do think objectively looking at them, the first one is slightly better. But with the soundtrack, I'm willing to admit two is better. So for any buddy watching this that doesn't have a huge connection with the first game, listen to the second one and the first one, and you'll probably like the second one better. But the first one is still amazing. Every level does something new. Every world has a theme to it that fits perfectly with the music. Mm -hmm. And it just is one of the best soundtracks, not just for games, but in general. One of the best sets of music I've ever heard. And it every time I listen to it, I'm just reminded of all the memories I have with the game. This explosion goes off in my mind. And I adore it so much. And so if you'd like to go ahead with your second favorite video game soundtrack of all time now. Now my second favorite is Undertale. And I'm sure a lot of people can see why. The music is really great. Especially the boss music more so than anything else. Like everyone knows the iconic Sans music, I'm sure of, right? And yeah. <laughs> it's just, Yeah, it's just... It's also music that's catchy. Like, everyone recognizes when they're here. They go, oh, that's Undertale. Yeah. And it's just like, everyone knows what it is. Yeah, because it's, it's very so recognizable. Yeah. And it's recognizable because it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed, like, the gameplay of that game. But the music is, like, just makes it one of the best... Probably it the really best RPG I've ever played. Yeah. Maybe, maybe other than like Pokemon Soul Silver, but it is the best one. Maybe not my favorite, but I think yeah, the music is great in that game. All right. Uh -huh. Well, then I'm gonna go ahead. My favorite video game soundtrack of all time, and this is a weird pick, is Eco. Now, Eco is also one of my favorite games ever. Uh, but it's number nine. It's my ninth favorite. So it's kind of weird to see it at number one for soundtracks. But, oh my god. The gameplay of that game is great. The story is great. The visuals are great. All that. But the music is what makes it one of my favorites. The music <laughs> is haunting when you're in these d just decrepit old parts of this castle, you're fighting these horrific shadow monsters, you're left in the dark about so much, and that's partly due to how well the story is done, but it's also due to how well the music just leaves you abandoned in this confusion, or this horrible, well not horrible because the songs are good, but this yeah. creepy atmosphere is built up by the music incredibly well, and... Oh my god, don't even get me started on Castle in the Mist and Heal. Probably some of my favorite songs ever, in general. Uh, you know, I would probably consider Heal my favorite song ever. It's just this cozy, amazing song that just feels so nice. And it's like this one escape you have from the haunting atmosphere of the rest of the game. This mysterious, confusing, scary sort of game that has this one embrace, this one song that guides you and is one of the best songs I've ever heard. And it's overall 
just elevates the soundtrack and the game to new heights, and I adore the soundtrack more than any other. And so, yeah. So that's my favorite soundtrack ever. But, Drew, what is your favorite game soundtrack ever made? Alright, now this one was easy for me to find. It was Doom 2016. And, like I stated before, with the Doom Eternal, and how a lot of the same songs... But this one, I said Doom Eternal did it a little better. But I think I lied on that. And Doom 2016 really made it better than anything else. Because, yes, it's the same songs, practically. But Doom 2016, something about it just made it two times better. I mean, like BFG Division, Rip and Tear, all those songs. Nothing can beat those. On my opinion, at least. I'm sure someone else has an op op opposition towards it. But... I've never listened to anything else like Doom 2016. It is so good. Like, yeah. really, though. Yeah. Well, then. Those are our ten favorite video game soundtracks of all time. So, please, comment down below. What are your favorite game soundtracks out there? Or just game songs in general? Let us know. And with that being said... Special thanks to Darkhorn Animations for co-hosting this episode with me. Thanks to you for watching. Be safe, everyone, and goodbye.